a little compressor maintenance. Got to rewire this puppy. Cord's shot. So I got to put a new cord in. So just working on that. Hey guys, Touch coming at you. Saturday morning, April 20th. It's about uh, 10.25. Just out in the garage and a little depressed. It's uh, pretty cold out today. It's only uh, plus 2 Celsius and we got some flurries going on out here. The bummer is that we have our first uh, British car show and flea market of the year tomorrow on Sunday in Ancaster, Ontario and uh, yeah traditionally it's been uh, for the last couple of years anyway it's been pretty cold and rainy so I think they're calling for a high of 7 degrees Celsius tomorrow at least it's supposed to be sunny but uh, today is definitely not a good day uh, I was planning on doing some sandblasting on this gas tank today uh, I think we'll give her a shot and yeah, just do it outside the door here so it's going to be a little chilly to do that but Something I want to get done before I uh, head off this afternoon. I'm actually staying at a buddy of mine uh, in uh, Port Credit, Ontario. So uh, we're going to head out from uh, there to go to the show tomorrow, which is about probably about two and a half hours, uh, I'd say two hours away from here. So I'll make a little bit of a closer journey in the morning. So I'll take some video of that show tomorrow there as well. And uh, that's pretty much about it. So uh, we'll see if I can get a little sandblasting done, and I'll take a little bit of a, a video of this uh, to see if we can get it to come out a little bit better, get some of that uh, just surface rust off there. I'm going to plug up these uh, two holes, uh, the one for the fuel sender and the one for the, uh, the fuel line, the vent line actually, and uh, we'll give her a quick sand blast. Alright, we'll come back in a bit. Talk to you later. Well, it's coming along guys. It's uh, definitely cold out, um, but it's, uh, it's working okay. It's not a real strong pressure I've got it on right now. I just want to get it enough to, uh, to clean off the extra paint and it's always good to uh, you know, get if there's any um, little residue in the corners here for instance on the inside of the, uh, of the wells. It's nice to be able to, to spray that out. So anyway, it's looking good. We'll just keep at it. Talk to you in a bit. Well guys, not perfect, but uh, it's starting to snow pretty heavily out there and it was melting on my uh, gas tank and I thought that was going to cause some uh, rust issues plus it was uh, the sand was starting to stick to uh, to the gas tank as well so it was making a mess so I thought I'd just stop where I was at and then bring it in and wipe it down so it's uh, it's looking pretty good there's still a little, uh, few spots of paint on it but uh, some of that surface rust is gone definitely cleaned up the, uh, the tank quite a bit I had to stop on this side so you can see a little bit of surface rust here on the top I did get most of it off the bottom, but uh, you can see this area of the tank I haven't done yet. And then, uh, yeah, the top of the tank came up pretty well, especially around uh, those openings where I wasn't able to uh, clean it very well before. So, yeah, it's looking pretty good. So, uh, like I said, I've just dried it off uh, from the uh, snow that was falling on it, and uh, we'll give it a uh, coat of uh, etching primer, and then we'll go on to there, uh, maybe to some epoxy, and then some uh, probably some black single stage. Alright, that's it for now. I'll probably upload this uh, just so you have something to look at. I probably won't be out in the garage uh, later on today. Like I said, I'm heading out, so uh, I'll have to get back into it uh, tomorrow night. Talk to you later. Bye.